Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Homebrew for Life. Today we're gonna to be doing another cooking episode where we're cooking with beer. St. Patty's Day is coming up and we wanted to make something that was very traditional to St. Patty's Day. We're gonna be making corned beef with cabbage and it's an easy crock pot recipe. We're gonna be adding some potatoes, some carrots, a little bit of bacon, soy sauce, beef broth, and then obviously some beer. And what we brought today was some homebrew from a good friend of mine and it's basically a bourbon barrel aged stout. But we're really excited about it. We're gonna show you all the ingredients. We're gonna have all the step by step step instructions down in the comments below. Uh, we're gonna be using a crock pot so you can basically get the meal prepped early in the morning, drink all day through St. Patty's Day and when you're all shit faced and fucked up, the food will be ready and you can down the food and pass that on your couch and your wife will be mad at you the next morning. I got a friend over here and he's, what are you drinking actually? That looks really tasty. I'm glad you asked. This is our hazy IPA from last week's video. If you guys want our hazy Northeast IPA recipe, the link will be in the description below as well. Jesus loves you, <laughs> except you. <laughs> so we're just getting started. We're gonna start prepping our meal. What I wanna do is kind of just layer everything in the crock pot and through the magic of movie production, we're going to show you each layer that goes in and it should be fun to watch, so mm -hmm. enjoy. Yeah. And wait, let's just go ahead and start with the very first thing. We've got a big old chunk of fucking meat over here. That's what she said. <laughs> This is our brisket, about 3.7 pounds. Got a lot of fat on the bottom. Sometimes I'll trim the fat off, but I'm not gonna worry about it because it's a drunk day and I don't really care. Fat is good, fat is fun. Fat is your friend. And we're gonna go ahead and just throw that straight in the crock pot. That's gonna be our very first layer. What you wanna realize is in that beef brisket, they usually come with a little spice packet. Super important to use that spice packet. If you don't add that spice, the meal's not gonna taste as awesome. It's, your it's fucking spice. rad that they send these spice packets with it. Normally I add my own spices, but this is one of the few meals where I trust the spice packet they send. It works great. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that all over the top of the meat right now. What's up guys? We got our first layer in, which is our beef brisket. We got all the seasoning sprinkled on top. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the second layer, which is about a pound of bacon. Most corned beef and cabbage dishes don't include bacon. It's not a traditional ingredient, but why the fuck not? Bacon makes everything taste better, don't bacon you think? Is the best if I could just have bacon wrapped bacon all day, that's what I would have. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in as our second layer. Big pieces. <laughs> yeah, big chunks, big pieces. The bigger the better, man. They normally come in strips like this. I cut them into like quarters. All right, guys, here's the next step, and this is the next layer. We're gonna to go ahead and throw the potatoes in there. Bag said about three pounds of potatoes. I went ahead and picked these nice gold potatoes. It really doesn't matter what potatoes you use. You could use russets, you could use red potatoes, gold potatoes. I personally like the gold potatoes. I think they're a little softer and a little fluffier. And that's why I like them. But what you wanna do with these potatoes is cut them into quarters. We don't wanna use the whole potato. We want them into more basically like bite-sized pieces. It looks like in that three pound bag, I would say this is like a medium to small size potato. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting them into quarters until I have a nice layer in what I would call a large size crock pot. But we're gonna go ahead, yeah, cut these up and we'll show you the layer inside there and if we left any potatoes behind. So we're on our next layer. We just got the potatoes in there and covering up the meat nicely. It's a nice layer. We also minced up, roughly chopped about three or four cloves of garlic, threw those on top of the potatoes. And we're gonna go ahead and add our next layer, which is a two pound bag. Threw in a little bit of garlic and I like getting these baby carrots cause there's really like no work involved. All we gotta do is just kind of no put those in there. Our crock pot is now full of food. We are now going to start adding all the liquids. So we're gonna add some beef broth, some soy sauce, and of course the beer. That's right. The most important part of this whole thing. What we're gonna do is add about a cup of soy sauce. We're gonna add a 22 ounce bottle of our bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, and then we've also got some beef broth. And we're gonna go ahead and add the soy sauce and the beer first, and then just top it up to where it needs to be with the beef broth. Uh, right about there is where we wanna stop. What's gonna happen as this starts cooking is everything's gonna expand and we don't want it to like flood over the edge. A lot of times people try and submerge all the food completely in liquid. You don't wanna do that. You wanna be like a half inch to an inch below the food because it is gonna expand. The meat's gonna shrink. Everything's gonna soak stuff up and it's all gonna become this one unit of delicious awesomeness. That's right. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in our crock pot. We're gonna set it on high because I'm kind of in a rush to get the fuck out of here and we started late today, but <laughs> if you wanna do it on low, you probably wanna cook it for like eight to 10 hours. On high, it'll probably be done in like six to seven hours. Check on it, shred the meat, and then add the cabbage. Cheers, guys. What do you do when you wait for six hours? Best thing to do is to drink beer. It's the St. Patty's Day. Drink, 
be your play video games. Play video games. Play video. You can do whatever you want. You have six hours. All right, split up. I like to play foosball personally. Uh, race some slot play cars. Play anyway. made it back after binge drinking with your buddies all day go ahead and chop up half a head of your cabbage and add it to your crock pot use a spoon to submerge the lettuce and keep it there for about another hour hey guys thanks for checking out this week's video if you guys had a good time enjoying this video subscribe to our channel if this video made no sense and it made you actually like feel awkward and weird and question everything about life subscribe anyways thanks for checking out this video guys new videos every tuesday night if you guys have any questions or comments please post them in the comment section below here's to drinking good and looking good our old motto oh, is love. cheers to drinking good and eating good but Mori has a new uh cheers to looking good <laughs> <laughs> cheers to hey cheers guys thanks for watching tune in every tuesday we have a new video out every tuesday night seven o'clock pacific standard time cheers to eating good and drinking good uh, cheers mandatory beer chug mandatory beer chug rock and roll <laughs>